<laughs> um, we can get into Judgment Day bloopers, I'm calling it, of course, with their shenanigans with the briefcase. But um, <laughs> what do you guys think about J.D. McDonough's debut against uh, uh, Sami Zayn? Uh, I'll start off with it because that started off the night, and especially J.D. McDonough uh, arguing with the Judgment Day. Sami Zayn coming out and attacking him. Those guys having a match. Sami Zayn overcoming the odds, winning the match. Uh, what do you guys think about J.D. McDonough's uh, interference with the Judgment Day and then his debut and then losing on Raw, which I thought was a bad choice because it's like you're introducing this new character and then he just loses to Sami Zayn and it's like, isn't Sami hurt? Like, what is going on here? And I don't know why he lost that. So let's start there. <laughs> what do you guys think about J.D.? <laughs> he didn't have the pointer. He didn't have the the knot. <laughs> Daniel, uh, I'm his elbow anymore. Daniel, I'm, I'm gonna say this in response to the JD McDonough loss. Mark Henry, Mark Henry once said, he's lost a whole bunch of matches matches in his, in his life, but at a lot of those matches, even though he lost, he came out he came out looking better than the guy who beat him. So. In, resp in response to that, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, 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 sometimes the winner, the, the loss, the loss doesn't matter for a, for a character. Like that. Because we knew, because we look, look how he looked at the end of Raw, though, standing, standing aside the hardest group to, in, in, in WWE right now, beating up, beating up the top baby, the two top baby faces on Raw right now. So, did you even think that he just lost the same thing? No. I see. I see at the end of Raw, he's standing over Sammy. Standing I over Sammy. Sammy. <laughs> and you remember he lost to Sammy, but but I get it. I, but I remember yeah. okay, he, he he beat he beat up Sammy Zane. I, so I think for I think for once uh, point, I, don't I, I don't think the, the loss hurt. I think him. I think for once I'm gonna agree with Dan. I don't know. I feel like him aligning himself with Finn and just being his first match. I feel like it would have done him more good if he got the the W. Um, because you know, Sammy, yeah, and you know, Sammy always has that underdog thing, you know, ah, I'm injured, but it really could have capitalized it and you know, done some heelish shit and still could have won the match. And I feel like he would still have the same effect and still be with Judgment Day. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it's just, it would give him more credit because I feel like too many times in this day and age, that was cemented to me, that would have cemented him with the group, yeah, that would have but that's what I'm saying. I feel like in, in this day and age with debuts. <laughs> If you come out losing and mm -hmm. it's bad, it I mean, look at Karrion Cross when he came. Boom, lose. Like a couple other people. I can't think of anybody else right now, but that's one that sticks out tremendously. It's like, bro, <laughs> this dude was a monster. And then he comes out, loses to what was it, Jeff Hardy or whoever the hell it was with this. And it was just like, I, I, I want to talk dead. about that, but I want to get through everything first. Because yeah, you, you, you just opened up you just opened up a wound now by, by mentioning Karrion Cross. So. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get through everything we have planned, and, then, and at the very end, I'm, I'm going to talk about Karrion Cross. But yeah. as far as but as far as the, 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 judgment, the judgment day goes, um, well, well, they're the hardest they're the hardest group in the the the, the WWE right now, and um, I, what were you saying, Lewis? I I don't know, I. Even though I didn't pick them to win at SummerSlam, I think they are doing Finn a disservice. I think he should be champ or should, should have he been keeps champ. losing. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know if it's the whole money he in the bank. Losing. It's just, <laughs> just, just screwing it over. But I'm like, dude, what does this guy have to do to, like, you had the perfect seven year whole feud thing with Seth. Like, that should have finally been like a redemption for him. And I don't know. I feel like being presented with something like that, I'd be like, yo, you're really going to take this away from me? Like, but eh, we've seen it happen before. But I don't know. For him, <laughs> I feel like it's like this man literally came up, got injured, came back, floundered for a while, went back to NXT, won the title again, came back up still strong with the Judgment Day, dominating. And he still can't get the title. It's like, what does he have to do? He's the hardest group on Raw, and he keeps losing. <laughs> like, I can't, that's my biggest problem with this whole Finn Balor thing. He keeps losing, and in the most weirdest ways. And I'm fine with the briefcase being a crutch between the Judgment Day. I understand that. But he can win a damn match. 
he should win a damn match. <laughs> He's yeah. the leader of the Judgment Day and can't win, and can't win even with help. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> adding JD McDonough to the group, which I think we all knew what was going to happen when he was kind of playing in the background and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that, but it's like if this group is going to continue to be dominant, you had JD McDonough lose, you had Finn Balor lose. Like those count. Like they lost. Yeah, you beat up the guys after you guys ganged up on them. But you guys aren't getting any wins. So it's like, where is that leading to until the, I guess where the well, whatever the briefcase gets cashed in, whatever the storyline on that is. But it's just like the leader of the group is losing like mm -hmm. every time, like every time. I can't remember the last time Finn Balor got a win. Mm -hmm. I can't. Didn't he <laughs> beat Edge or no? I can't. Or did Edge win that one? No, Edge won that match at WrestleMania. The hell in a cell, right? Edge yeah, yeah, Edge beat them. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I can't. That's, I can't and that's why I don't know. Gonna, to me, it's. it's I don't know. I don't know if JD's actually gonna join the Judgment Day for some reason. Something's telling me that him and Finn are gonna break away, and it's either gonna be to do because of all this bullshit with the money in the bank, or. Damien, uh, Damien's going to cash mm -hmm. in, win, and then he's like, nah, screw that. I'm going to take the title from you. I don't know. I don't really see where they're going. Failed. In failed. Terms with cash in. Failed. No. Cash in. <laughs> failed. No. Cash in. Well, I can see that happening, too, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can see him. No, I, no, I can see it. Finn. No. I can see Finn. I can see Finn screwing over the cash in. I could see that happening because he's going to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you screwed me out of like two world two titles, championship matches, two <laughs> championships. I'm screwing you out of yours too. Like yeah. even though, even though he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, the second like, one. Sorry, you don't know how to when to take the briefcase. <laughs> sorry, you don't know when to take the briefcase and actually yeah, use it to our advantage. Sorry, coach. <laughs> 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 sorry, like, that's coach. the thing that's hurting him. Not. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I, yeah, like I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like again. I've been talking about Finn Balor like for a long time. Talented, strong personality. We saw in the Seth promos that he was able to get over and make that feud feel like something, not just Seth Rollins being with his music and stuff like that. Finn was actually getting that feud over, and he continues to lose. And it's like, where's the payoff for Finn Balor to get over this hump? You know what I mean? I just don't see it. <laughs> I just yeah. don't see it. Even if he's not going to be champion, I'm fine with that. But it's like he can he can get a win. <laughs> he can get a win. And I understand it's against Cody Rhodes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But he had the judgment day. He had the briefcase. He had his new lack, like all these things that he's had. And he still can't win. It's just like, what the hell? I, I like that. It was funny how he lost like the on between his legs. <laughs> like that was funny. But mm -hmm. it's just like. Come on, man. <laughs> it, it's all, it's on. I don't know. It's just not needed. Like, these guys are a serious threat, and you got them goofy losing. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I, I feel like it just hurts their image and their strength. Like, yeah, you're teasing yeah, a breakup, that, but. Yeah, that, but yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. It's just in, like you said, a goofy manner, teasing the, te <laughs> teasing the uh, eventual breakup. But um, and I do think that eventually when they do break off, you're definitely gonna have Finn and JD, Finn and JD together. Yeah. Um, I think I think Priest I think Priest is uh strong enough to stand on his own, and then you got Dom and you got Dom and Rhea. Like I said, they're both champions right now, so I think they're strong enough to stand on their own. So if the Judgment Day is heading towards a breakup, um, you definitely have a lot to look forward to be, for their respective uh respective uh, parties. Failed cashing. Book it. No. <laughs> Failed. No. They're going. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. And I no, like Damian. No, no, I like no, you, you know what? You might be right. And when it does happen, that will that will like be like the 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 starting point of the of like okay, it's a breakup. <laughs> now now you know it's a breakup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like okay, first few so be like, yeah, against man. Damian. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then maybe Finn can finally get a win. <laughs> and then that's just going to yeah. set up JD and Finn versus Damien and Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that's I don't know. I, I, I think I, was, I just wanted to see a Judgment Day with all the titles. Like, the give, me, give me one, give me one like, group they, they can do what like, uh, Undisputed Area did, like, finally. But nobody seems to get there. <laughs>
They should be like Evolution. Her That's what I was business. saying. They should have been like Evolution. I really hope the Hurt Business goes that <laughs> route, please. You really want to make the, the, this new Hurt Business str- strong? That's what you do. But it can't be Roman, not, though. I'm, I'm a lost face. <laughs> That's why it sucks that they're I, on yeah, SmackDown. And now, if they were on Raw, oh, but it can be. Now, nah, they should just magically appear on Monday Night Raw. Bobby now. Lashley is not winning the Royal Rumble. Bobby Lashley is not winning that the Royal Rumble. I just want to point very out. Very <laughs> nice. It's not happening. No, no. Nah, I, I agree with Daniel on this one. Bobby Lashley is not winning the Royal Rumble. We don't want to see Why not? Bobby Lashley win the Rumble. Why not? <laughs> The man has need, paid his dues. We don't, we don't need to see a Lashley and Reigns as a media main event. No. Why not? Why are you not supporting because yourself? Because the, the story is because it's because the story is you as, want as, as Reigns. You want to Southern white hair blonde eye? No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, now you want to bring racing to it? <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop myself. That's what we're doing. So he's black and bald headed. So I gotta support him, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? This right? is the Hulk Hogan talk. Right? This, this is the Hulk Hogan, Hogan talk all over again. <laughs> this is the Hulk Hogan. I'm like, you guys support this I, man. I, I can't I, yeah, believe you, you need to let that let that go. No, I will never let that go. <laughs> he, he was the man. Of the, he was the man of the '80s. All right. <laughs> the '80s are dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's the whole Hogan yeah. of this era, Cody Rhodes. Oh, we, God, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not swapping, not swapping out Hulk Hogan for Brock Lesnar, man. All right. <laughs> Brock, <laughs> hey, Brock shook Cody's hand. He broke character. That shows he shook the better man's hand. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. He did. <laughs> out of his illustrious, out of his illustrious career, he has never done that. Mm. His illustrious career after he lost, <laughs> like yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, and wasn't <laughs> racist. Get out of here, yeah. loser! You and wasn't racist. racist. Your I mean, man, your man without your man. I mean, your man, if, Cody without, win, if Cody wins the world title, man, man, we might have to put him in the top sixteen. I mean, wow, <laughs> <laughs> run. that's crazy. I don't even. He didn't even. Did he? Did he win it? He didn't win in AEW. Who? Oh. Yeah, but he didn't win an AEW, did he? No, he not won the, the TNT the title. title but, he, but he won the TNT title. Yeah, he won the TNT title. Yeah, he can't be in the go bracket. He can't be in the Brock bracket. Can. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that was his booking decision, though. So he can't be in the Brock can. Uh, yeah, oh, man. <laughs> didn't we talk about it earlier? <laughs> Didn't we talk about them enough? Yeah, um, but uh, we've been talking about this. We're kind of rumbling, especially with after that AEW 